Good morning. It's another wonderful day here in Leonidia. The sun is shining and we are on our way to the Twin Caves once again because um, both of us we want to try the routes again that we already checked out yesterday. Um, yesterday some holes were still wet because of the rain two days ago and we hope that it will be dry today. We also thought about going to the sector Xmas or Xmas, um, but this one is still wet, unfortunately. So it's gonna be twin caves today. See you there. Okay, we made it to the twin caves and right now we are hiking up to the two caves and I want to talk shortly about the two routes I'm going to try today. The one is called Marchi and it's a very cool route with some distinct bouldering parts and good rest in between. Um, and I think it's pretty much my style. So I'm really looking forward to climbing on this one. And the second one is a peak in the roof. It's the same grade as um, Mochi, also 8B. And this one is really athletic climbing in an almost roof, leading to two tufas. And then at the beginning of these two tufas, there is a crux uh, going into an undercling with your right hand. That's where I fell yesterday because this undercling was wet. And then it's some tricky tufa climbing to the top, maybe three or four more meters. Not super hard, but you can fall there if you're pumped. <laughs> um, but you can also trick your way up with a knee bar, so I think I should be fine when, when I'm there. Um, I just put my quick cross on the route I was talking about, um, Mochi. And unfortunately, unfortunately, the one hole is still wet. I wanted to climb it while putting the quick thrust in the route and it, I felt pretty good. But then the wet hole in the crux section stopped me from doing it. Um, it's this one undercling that you get with your left hand. You reach from a big jug to an undercling with your left hand and then you have to get your feet higher and that's the crux and this hole is wet but I managed to dry it a little bit and now we rest and then I will give it another try.
time. Here we are again. And yeah, as you could see, it worked out. <laughs> the hold was more or less dry. Um, and the rest of the route felt really good. I wasn't even too pumped, just a little nervous in the upper part <laughs> because there's this one long move into the big hole with your left hand, um, which is a huge jug, but you kind of have to commit to the move. <laughs> And yeah, there I was a little nervous and also at the, the top slab, which is a little bit tricky. You can fall there if you don't have good beta, but yeah, luckily I, I had good beta and yeah, it felt good. Um, and I think next I'm going to try the pig in the roof. That's the route I already tried yesterday. Let's see if the holes are a little drier than yesterday. And then, unfortunately, the battery of the camera died. Um, and yeah, we had to drive back home to charge the phone uh, and to, to capture this clip now. But I can tell you what happened afterwards. <laughs> um, I managed to get to the, to the last section of the route with the two parallel tufas. And as I already said, and as I suspected, I got crazy pumped on these tufas and somehow uh, could, could stay on the route with a knee bar that really helped, otherwise I would have fallen for sure. Uh, yeah, and it was quite a fight, quite an epic fight, <laughs> but in the end I managed to, to do the route and to climb a peak in the roof um, after I sent Marchi. So that was a really successful climbing day.
by far the most successful um, up to now, the most successful one up to now. Um, and yeah, now we will sleep and uh, regenerate a little bit. And yeah, we are looking forward to the next day. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>